Science books have played a crucial role in shaping our understanding of the world and advancing human knowledge. These books have inspired generations of scientists and non-scientists alike to explore and investigate the mysteries of the natural world. The importance of science books cannot be overstated. They have provided a platform for some of the greatest scientific minds to share their discoveries and insights, allowing us to build upon their work and make new discoveries of our own. They have also sparked the curiosity and imagination of countless individuals, inspiring them to pursue careers in science and contributing to the advancement of society as a whole. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about five most important scientific books of all time. The first on the list is On the Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. This book explains about the theory of evolution by natural selection and how species evolve and are in constant battle with nature. This was somewhat a direct contradiction to religious injunctions at that time and one of the pioneer books for scientific enlightenment. This book could be considered the publication that kick-started the era of evolutionary biology and made Darwin the father of modern evolution. The second book on the list is Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica by Sir Isaac Newton. Newton provided that planets go around the sun and the mathematical calculations involved the gravitational force between two massive objects. He also talks about the inverse square law, that is, the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the objects. This book could be considered the foundation of classical mechanics. The third book on the list is A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking. This book encompasses Hawking's way of explanation about the most complex concepts and ideas in physics, like space, time, black holes and gravity in the simplest of ways that anyone could grasp what it's trying to say. The late author is one of the most prolific cosmologists and thinkers of all time. The book was authored when Professor Hawking was suffering from acute motor neuron disease, which makes it even more special, inspiring generations of scientists and thinkers. This was one of the first few books that ignited my fascination in science. The fourth book on the list is On the Revolutions of Heavenly Spheres by Nicolaus Copernicus. Copernicus, who is considered one of the greatest astronomers of the 16th century discusses the idea that the sun is the center of our solar system, which was contrary to Aristotle's theory of the earth being the center of our solar system. After many years of observations, he came up with a heliocentric theory. His book on the revolutions of heavenly spheres is considered to be one of the most important books in the history of science that initiated the modern scientific revolution and modern astronomy. The last book on the list is A Dynamical Theory of Electromagnetic Fields by James Clerk Maxwell. In this book, Maxwell establishes the fact that light is an electromagnetic wave. For the first time, he explains the idea that oscillating charge will produce changing electric field, which is responsible for the production of changing magnetic field. They both continue to be responsible for each other's existence and are thus called the electromagnetic field. James Maxwell is considered to be one of the greatest physicists of all time who revolutionized the course of physics and brought a scientific revolution. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you want to watch more such videos on physics, mathematics, philosophy and theology, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.